once again, museum minuting from home because museums are always on our minds. So last week we took you on tours of our houses or rooms and told you why the entire thing was like a museum for us. Well now I want us to focus on one object in our house thing. They're not really artifacts. I mean, they could be if they're in our museum. So one thing in your house that tells a very specific story about you. All right, so mine is a dress. Some of you may have seen this dress before if you came to our Titanic exhibit. This is what I call my opera dress. Why do I call it an opera dress and why is it my story? So it was high school, senior year of high school, I was in My Fair Lady and I was in the opening scene, which takes place outside of an opera. So hence opera dress. Now why it's my story is my mom made this. It is my absolute favorite costume she's ever made me. And as you saw in the last video, I have a lot of costumes. But this is my absolute favorite. It's gorgeous. It's perfect. It, I, I just love it. I love it so much. We went to the fabric store together. We had the pattern in mind and we're picking out fabric. Now mom and I, it's always an issue at the fabric store. She and I did not always agree. And she thought I was crazy when I picked out these two materials. Got a turquoise and then this overlay. She was like, no, that is absolutely insane. But she put it together and she admits that it is so perfect. She loves it too. So she made the dress, we added the applique on the sleeves, and then I did this little beading on the side. What really makes it special is not only did I wear it senior year for My Fair Lady, I've also worn it to my fraternity formals, I wore it for Titanic, I wore it for Secret Garden here with the Community Players of Hobbs, I uh, wore it to the symphony concert that was Halloween. I did masquerade. I mean, and I think my friends have worn it too. So this dress has been worn and senior year of high school was 2001. So that was a long time ago. So this dress has been worn so many times. It's been on display for at least two exhibits. One at the Western Heritage Museum, at least for Halloween this last year, if not for Theatrica. Theatrica and once at LCCA for their costume exhibit. So this dress is so special to me. It's got so many special memories and it's my mom and I working on it together. So that's why this dress is my object that I picked to tell a story about me. All right, who's next, Kim? So I didn't film this at home because for the past two or three weeks I've actually been here at the museum uh, working on getting the exhibits taken down and getting the new exhibits taken up, put up. My favorite item that I have at home is a stuffed animal. And it actually tells you a lot about me. His name is Honey. <clears throat> he's probably, I just turned 26, so he's about 15 or 14, give or take. He has gone through almost every massive surgery with me, and like I just said, I'm 26, but he still sleeps in my bed with me. He's gone almost on every out-of-town trip I've ever been on. He's just my teddy bear. You know, like that one animal or that one pillow that you always go to and you grab it when you need to cry and have something to hold, or when you have surgery and you need something there on the hospital bed with you don't think they let you do that anymore and they probably got in trouble for even letting me have my animal but he's gone through surgery with me my grandparents they went to Alaska and they brought him back and they brought him back and they brought another one that was purple and they let my sister and I decide and I think I just picked up honey instantly and said mine type of a thing and his name was honey because he looks like a honey bear or an Alaskan brown bear Kodiak and he has a little yellow tie I'll put a picture somewhere here and show you him because I didn't film this at home. If I could, I would bring him and he would come to work with me. In fact, probably one of these times whenever it's teddy bear day or bring your teddy bear to work day, that is a holiday, you can look it up. I've taken him on every trip probably up until I was 16, until it was kind of awkward to take a stuffed animal on school trips. I took him on one in high school. I don't know if my friends knew that it happened or not. But, um, so we want to see what your items are. 
you can take a picture and post them down in the comments below or tag us at WHM or WHM's NMJC. So, you've seen our objects that tell a story about us. What's your object? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, follow us on Facebook, watch our website because we may not be open yet, but we will be and we are so excited to be able to see you guys when we do. So, follow us there and find out what's going on. We'll see you guys later. Bye!